any glam rockers out there, listen up. Don your feather boas, grab your eyeliner and glitter and get ready to boogie to the musty musical touring the country at the moment, which chronicles the life of T-Rex star Mark Boland. And we are joined by one of the stars of the show, Sue Jenkins. <laughs> It's on tour at the moment. Where are you right now? We're in Woking right now until okay. Saturday. Two shows yesterday, two shows Saturday. Oh, then we're gosh. in Cardiff and then Wimbledon, big press night in Wimbledon. Uh -huh. And uh, we've been on the road, on the road, Rochick, <laughs> for nine <laughs> weeks. <laughs> does, it, does it feel like you get to kind of dip your toe into the sort of rock lifestyle? Yes, more than dip my toe. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And uh, what is great, I think, is when you hear about a show like this, you tend to think it's going to be jukebox musical type mm -hmm. of thing. Uh -huh. And it's so not. We've got a real story to tell. Mm. It's a real play yeah. with 25 hits of T-Rex yeah. and, and, uh, and Mark Bolan. And uh, Mark Bolan is played by Warren Sollers. If you don't know his name, you will in the future. He's amazing. So He's it's not fantastic. like, obviously, we've had the Mamma Mia's and that sort of thing, yeah. which is a story with some songs thrown in. Yes. This is a story about Mark Bolan. Absolutely. Okay. And it's seen through the eyes of Roland Bolan, who was only two when his father sadly died. Actually, Mark called his son Roland because David Bowie called his son Zowie. So oh, Zowie Bowie, okay. Roland Bowie. Oh. They were really close. There was a really they? healthy, lovely I, I, I kind of... I didn't realise, I was reading yeah. up on the story and I didn't realise that David Bowie paid for him to go through yes, school. Yes, which was amazing. Son. Roland, the money was tied up when Mark tragically died, you know, two weeks before he was 30. And Gloria Jones, the amazing Gloria Jones, the singer, was driving at the time. And, of course, the, the, you know, she just had the baby. So Roland didn't really get to know his father. Mm. Um, so our story begins with Roland saying, I want to know who my real dad mm. is and what makes him tick. Mm -hmm. And that's where the story begins. Now, you play his mum, Mark's mum. I play mom. Mark's mum, Phyllis. <laughs> but in real life, when Mark tragically died and Gloria was driving the car, yeah. they fell out. Didn't they? Yes, really they did. Badly. Well, also because, of course, any mother, the, the grief, you know, nobody wants to ever think of that. And um, she, she lost her son, but she also lost her grandson mm. because Gloria fled to yes. LA, understandably, because of the heartbreak. So, of course, she lost, she lost both of those. So, uh, there's great poignancy through the show. Mm -hmm. um, and we always say we take the audience on a journey of, 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 of very touching moments of, of, uh, of great joy, but they will all be singing and dancing at the end. <laughs> we have standing that's, ovations that's every of, night. That's a lot amazing. of tragedy, though, to have to play every single night. How do you, it really how do you is, not actually, just, just sort of disappear into your room afterwards? Well, then? I have to tell you, it's quite... I, I age up to kind of 70. Yard. Now you have to say here, oh, never. Because she's only 39. <laughs> oh, but I do, and uh, so it's quite depressing anyway, looking in the mirror. But I do have some heartbreaking moments where I stand for 10 minutes in the wings doing my previous, and I really do actually. Um, but it's it's and how it's great. the audience is enjoying it because obviously you know it, it's of its time. It's it's music of a certain age. Are there young people coming to it? Who yeah, still find definitely. It I said to my kids, you know, Mark Bolan, and they said, I don't think I know that music. And I went, I love to boogie get it on. Oh, I know that. Hot love, get it on. Well, it was so immediately yeah. before punk, wasn't it? Yeah, Immediately. Absolutely. It was a kind of crossover period just before punk. And also Mark Bowden, because he died so young, oh, became yeah. an iconic figure. Totally. He was and so he, ahead of his time. I know, it? it's interesting to think if he'd lived, would he have, be, would he have got that, you know, would he have achieved that stuff? I think so. He always said he wanted to be bigger than Elvis. And there was a time where he actually did sell more records at one point than Elvis. Mm. So I think if he hadn't really? died at 29, Mm. Who knows what would we, become we've got of him. A, We've got a little clip of him in action. Let's take oh. it. That. I can remember a few a few months ago I was playing a song at home and my son, who's nearly 13, said, I didn't know there was funky music but when you were Absolutely. young. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That serves to remind kids today. But the other not, thing they didn't invent it. Totally. And, and Mark Boland fans come along and they say there's things that they didn't know about mm. Mark, certain little details, you know. And when we were all doing our kind of research, we found out things that I was around first time, you know, with Mark Boland, of course, but there were things that I learned since then just through mm. doing my sort of background work. You know, the other thing I must say is it's directed 
played by Gary Lloyd, who is, of course, famous for fame and Thrill Alive. Right. And he choreographed mm -hmm. it, and it's just the most amazing do you have a dance? Don't have I do, I boogie at the end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Lee was saying, our lovely makeup guy, that he went along because his partner just loved Mark yeah, Bolling. He's he... not a Mark Bolling fan, he said, but he had an amazing night. He was just saying so, in makeup, you yeah. know, and uh, I think people, they, they have preconceptions about this yeah. show, and yeah. I think what, you, what I've got to say is kind of lose all those because it's so not what yeah. you think, it's so much more. Do you know, you you've know. sold me. I like the idea. Well, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. No, but I, honestly, I just, I have such faith in this show. Yeah. I stand in the wings every night and go, thank you, I'm in this. Oh, you know? well, we say thank you for coming to see us today. <laughs> thank good you. luck with it all. Sue Jenkins, Bless everyone. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to see you.